Yo, Cavs versus Pacers should be a pretty good one. There's no Donovan Mitchell. Well deserved for a break, <laughs> considering he had 43 in the loss of the Thunder and then hit the game winner the first game. But Bert, okay. Uh, no Garland either, who's missed two games in a row now. Um, obviously no Jared Allen, who hasn't played yet this season, and I don't know uh, uh, Mosley turn on that, but he is. Okay, so let's see how they fare against the Pacers. Okay, have a big lead early. Um, Pacers look pretty good in the opener. Uh, a lot of y'all, you know, were on me for saying Halliburton's overrated and all this. Listen, bro, I don't think he's overrated. I think he's good. Um, really good passer. One of the best passers in the league. Top five passer in the league, probably. Uh, has a weird release, but a good shooter. Um, I think makes the team a lot better. Good offensive player. Uh, not too great on defense, obviously. But I just say I just don't think he's top twenty or top twenty-five, and all the lists have him there. So that's why. That's the only reason why I said he's a little overrated in my opinion. Um, he's not better than someone like Donovan Mitchell. Not better than someone like Zion Williamson. He's not better than he's not better than De'Aaron Fox. Bro. He's not. He's just not. He's not better than De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is a way better scorer. Just adds more, bro. Um, he is a really good passer and makes his best ability. I still think someone like Trey Young is better than Halliburton too. Y'all probably gonna hate me for that one. I just do. I play you better than Jalen Brunson. Um, Anthony Edwards better. There's a good amount of play, uh, players in my opinion, but he's really good and I like him a lot. He's better than Garland, no doubt. Okay, Monty Bates in there getting some minutes, but get sauced up by Buddy Heald. But shout out Halliburton, bro. No hate. I'm rooting for him. I like him. I have, I wish the best for him. There's no, you know, but that's just how I feel. So we'll see, man. He um last. Year, the kids were doing really good. They were in the playoffs until he got injured, and then when he got back, they were never able to get back on track. And it was just bad. So hopefully, they stay healthy this whole year. And the Pacers, they're kind of starting off good again. So, so we'll see. We'll see if they can get the W. They, they got to get the W without Mitchell on the on the, uh, on the team on the floor. You know. So. Yeah, man, we're gonna be watching the Pacers very closely this season. You feel me? You look Pacers. Okay. Yeah, Mitchell's not playing. I, I don't understand. Didn't they um, um, uh, place a rule that players can't rest or something like that? A league policy? Or like two stars or something like that? Can't rest? Garland and Mitchell. Like, or not considered an all-star? I, I don't know, but y'all let me know exactly how policy works. It's funny because, you know, Jim Butler took the day off today. Players are already taking uh, the games, games off, so. But girl, although I think so, but thanks. Not really. It looks like Bruce Brown not playing in this one either. Players yeah. so are ready resting, bro. It's game fucking three, man. It's game three. Well, Mitchell did get injured in the, at the in the end of the last game. Oh, actually, I remember that. So I get that to be with Dan in the three. Okay. That's totally different than we saw in the first half. That's just good adjustment by Jason Baker's staff at half. Okay. Halliburton. Oh, cool. Turner keeps it alive. Okay. He's nice. I like that one. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Jerusalem, you pick up. Oh, Bruce Brown is playing. Okay. That's it. Yeah, well, then we're in the second half. Okay. Okay. Bruce Christian Thompson back with the gas. I mean, when you don't have fucking Mitchell or Garland at that, I mean, who is creating the offense? I mean, probably Struce and I'm the hurt. I don't know. 
Come on, Penny Sewell, close it out. Or Long Jones catch it. Third three! That's a shot you want to give him, though. Smith made a big bucket there. And his team has responded very, very well. The Cavs are uh, my name. Watching this. Levert. Levert. Oh, High degree of difficulty for Karis Levert. And Levert oh. now has a cool 30. Damn, Levert got 30. Here's Tristan Thompson. We'll set the lineup for you in a moment. And Bruce. Gets it. Puts it oh, high the up the window. There's Thompson. Thompson with the follow. Yeah, that's, that's Max's play. He goes. Credit Thompson for setting it up. Brown. That's the pressure here on the Pacers. Neesmith had a big night, and it continues. Yeah, he just keeps making big shots. Every time the fans. You no, know, his mom, Deborah, not only went to DePaul, but she played both basketball and volleyball there. She is in the Hall of Fame. And Max Hey, Nick. Knocks down that three. Fantastic. Your mom's got to be very, very proud of this young man. Working really hard, making big baskets. Could be a vital part of this team. Oh, my. He's with a nice pass to find a cutting turner. He wants Mobley. Mobley will check into the next dead ball. Oh. Nice right off the line. Hey, second year player. They have a lot of their second year players in young squad, so a lot of time to develop, man. It'll be interesting to see if they trade buddy Hughes or not, man. His name's always around this trade. He's got fast he's he's hey, we got a close one. Game right now. Doing a good job. And it's just going to help us Nobody has to get a better offensive game, man. I'm going to play cool with it. I mean, that's what they need to have a better offensive game. Mobile. Hey, Halliburton. Keep on. Okay, Halliburton. Prove me wrong, then, Halliburton. Damn. Close it out. Okay, Halliburton. Maybe you are top 25. Say I stand on He's not top 25. But hey. But hey. Pacers playing. 